Hi, I'm Dr. Ramos, the director of Running Start at Olympic College, and I want to congratulate you on your acceptance into the program. You are one of many successful students who are getting a head start on their college education. We're excited that you've chosen to do this at Olympic College. There are so many benefits and options for students who are participating in Running Start. Not only are you getting ahead on your college education, you are also saving thousands of dollars in tuition for your family. Running Start is a student choice program. It's flexible and academically challenging. Most students find that college is very different from high school. Overall, you'll discover that you have more freedom in college, but more responsibility will be required on your part. You will experience independence, an adult atmosphere, and a fast-paced class work. Uh, Running Start is flexible. You can choose to attend full-time or part-time. Full-time would be 15 tuition-free credits. That's the max you can take while in Running Start. Or you can go part-time. Uh, that would be anything under 15 credits. You can take all your classes at Olympic College while you're in Running Start, or you can share time between the high school and the college. You can take classes online at, or at one of our three campuses in Bremerton, Paulsbo, or Shelton. Running Start covers the tuition-free credits during fall, winter, and spring quarters. If a student chooses to take classes during the summer quarter, they, those are not covered by Running Start and you would have to pay full tuition and fees on those classes. You can select classes that meet daily or a couple days a week. Uh, classes can be taken during the day or in the evening. And there are even uh, classes, many classes right now that you can take online. Online students attend class independently through an online platform called Canvas. Online classes that require Zoom meetings that have a scheduled time that they meet, say maybe Tuesday, Thursday, 10 to 12, 15 every week, those are called synchronous classes. Those are required Zoom meetings. Asynchronous classes are also online that don't have any scheduled meeting time at a specific time. Students will watch recorded lectures when the time fits their schedule. There are advantages to both types. Um, if you want to stay in contact with the instructor, then I would recommend that you take the synchronous classes because you would be seeing them in class a couple times a week. Uh, if you're more independent and want a more flexible schedule, then the asynchronous classes may work better for you. Important study habits of online classes include good independent learning skills, proficient reading and communication skills, basic computer skills, and most importantly, a reliable internet connection. Online classes do require students to participate daily starting at the beginning of the quarter. You should be tech checking Canvas every day in order to uh, make sure that you are getting all the material you need to be successful. Part of the flexibility of Running Start includes the variety of classes, certificate, and degree options that are available to you. You can choose to take classes for transfer purposes or help you prepare for the workforce. Two common pathways for students who want to transfer are the Associate of Arts degree and the Associate of Science degree. The majority of students in Running Start will be doing the Associate of Arts or AA mainly because the curriculum lines up very well with the high school requirements for graduation. The Associate of Science degree often takes students longer than the two years that you have eligibility in Running Start. Those interested in developing work skills to enter the workforce may choose to pursue an Associate of Technical Arts degree. And these don't always line up well with the high school requirements, but there is an option for any student who completes an associate's degree in Washington State to also earn their high school diploma through the college they're attending. Uh, some examples of technical degrees that are offered at OC are manufacturing, culinary arts, welding, and cosmetology. A full list of all those technical 
professional technical programs is available on the OC website or in the Olympic College catalog. Running Start is for motivated students who are ready for the challenging, fast-paced classwork in college. You will be in a regular classroom with adult students. Running Start students are not identified in any way as high school students when they're in the classroom. As a college student, you will be expected to come to class prepared, actively participate in the class, and ask for help when you need it. Running Start students can earn more than one high school credit in more high school credits in Running Start than they can in a year at the high school. Just so you're aware, Running Start covers up to 15 credits per quarter based on your eligibility between your combined high school and college schedules. Students who are taking no classes at the high school will be eligible for the maximum that you can take in Running Start, and that is 15 credits. Running Start covers classes that are 100 level and above. Those are college level classes. So if you need to work on your skills in math or English and start out at a level lower than 100, you would be paying for those classes out of pocket. All Running Start students should be aware of the cost associated with attending Olympic College while they're in Running Start. So any credits that you take that are exceeding your eligibility will be your responsibility to pay the tuition. You're also responsible for paying college fees, buying your textbooks and supplies, and your transportation to campus. Summer quarter classes are not covered by Running Start, so you would pay for those if you choose to take classes in the summer. And then any college uh, courses that are below college level. There is some financial assistance for low-income students that um, is determined by your eligibility for free and reduced price lunch at the high school. So if you're on free and reduced price lunch, you would also be uh, eligible for the tuition and fee waiver program at Olympic College and Running Start. Now, if um, you are a homeschool student and the the district does not have that information on you. There is uh, an application for our, our um, tuition and fee waiver program that you can also complete. In addition to the free tuition and fees, there's also a textbook lending library that we have available for our low-income families. There are many things that you will have to do once you um, start thinking about the classes you want to take and preparing for meeting with your high school counselor to talk about those classes. So one thing you wanna think about before selecting classes at Olympic College is uh, what classes do you have remaining to take at the high school? So what are your high school graduation requirements? What classes can you take based on your placement, either through the AccuPlacer or your high school, trans your high school transcript placement? Um, Think about any prerequisites that are needed prior to taking something else. So at Olympic College, if a student wants to take History 137, which is our um, US history course, you would have to have English 101 prior. So you cannot take English 101 and History 136 or 137 at the same time. You have to complete English because it is a prereq to the history. And then also think about your long-term goals. What do you want to study? Do you know what you want to major in when you move on to your transfer institution? If you want to, if you want to major in education, think about taking an intro to education class. If you want to major in sociology or psychology, think about an intro class in either of those disciplines. So think about that. Right now, I'm going to share my screen and show you where to find the class schedule at Olympic. You're going to go to the Olympic College website. And at the very top, there's some really important links 
Uh, the one we're going to look at right now is Browse Classes. Let me click on that. You want to scroll down to Olympic College. And then when this opens, you're going to make sure that you choose the correct term. So right now it's defaulting to spring. So I'm going to look for fall 2021. And then I know that um, many of you have placed into English 101, so that's a good class to look for. I'm not sure if they have everything in the schedule yet, so this is my as a challenge, but let's see what they have in terms of English. Good. They have the English 101 classes in for fall. And so what I would do is look at um, several things when I'm looking at a class here. If I look at this section eight at the top, I can see that this is offered during the regular academic session. This class has required class meetings on Zoom, online, on Mondays and Wednesdays from 11.30 to 12.20. I see who the instructor is, Sarah Adams Nolan, and I see that it is starting on September 20th when fall quarter begins. If I go down one lower and I look, I see that section nine is taught by the same instructor and she has no required meetings. So I had talk to you about asynchronous and synchronous. The first one, section eight, this is a synchronous class. It has required Zoom meetings. The second listing here has no required meetings. That's an asynchronous class. So the instructor may have recorded lectures that she posts for you to view um, when time is available for you. Now remember, there are very strict deadlines when you're in college, so don't think that you can let all of those lectures pile up and watch them at the end of the quarter. They will have um, lectures that they post and then possibly a discussion that you need to engage in or a, a paper you're going to need to submit that it's, has something to do with that lecture. Um, those assignments will close at a certain date. Those dates are very important. Deadlines are very strict in college. You don't have the same flexibility as you would in high school. So you really need to stay attuned to those deadlines. One more thing I want to point out here on the schedule. When we see here they have English and then they have English CCN. You'll see education has CCN and then plain education. So CCN stands for common course numbering. It means that this course is numbered the same way throughout the community technical colleges in Washington State. It doesn't mean that it's a more transferable course or anything like that. It's just um, a number that is the same across the state. So there are English classes as well, but when we're looking for English 101, it's going to be under the CCN. And I guess my recommendation would be if you don't find the number you're looking at under one, then check the other one. Okay. That basically shows you the schedule, but there are ways to um, move your classes into a shopping cart from this. From this site. Let's see if I can make that work. I'm going to use a fake account. It doesn't like that one, maybe, but that isn't going to work. I will show you the alternate way to get the courses into your shopping cart. Okay, that's not going to work, so we're not going to, oh, it did, okay, so go back to the class schedule, and it will not let me log in, so I'm going to stop sharing, and we're going to look at a different way to do that in a minute.
once you've looked at the schedule and had an idea about what classes you want to take and write those down, um, you will want to meet with your high school counselor because it, every quarter you need to meet with the counselor and get the Running Start Enrollment Verification Form filled out. The Running Start Verification Form, or as we call it an RSEVF, is required by the state. And so we do those every quarter. Your high school counselor will review with you how your OC classes will meet the high school requirements and how many classes or FTE, which stands for full-time and equivalent, you, can, you are taking at the high school and how many tuition free credits you can take at the college. They will also verify on that form whether you are a free and reduced price lunch recipient. Uh, that information needs to be verified by your parent. So um, there's a, a signature line at the top of that form that needs to be signed. If you're a homeschool or a private school student, you will need to work with the public school district where you live and you will meet with their school official every quarter. After you have your classes, uh, chosen and you visit it with your high school counselor, you're going to want to add the courses to your shopping cart in CTC Link. I'm going to share my screen again and we will look at how to do that. So we're going to go back to the OC website and at the top, another one of these really important links in red is the CTC Link. One. It's going to take you to the screen, and by now you should have set that up. If you haven't, you're going to go to first-time user and complete that. But if you have filled it out, you will have something like this, and you're going to sign in. And it should look like this for you. You're going to have a Canvas link. That is the online platform we use. That's not what we're using for our enrollment, though. We're going to click on Student Homepage. And when this opens, you're going to see a lot of different tiles for different different functions in um, CTC Link. And I want to kind of go through these for you um, because you're going to log in and look at this occasionally, especially at the end of the quarter when grades are released. But let's look here. This says task. It has an exclamation point. It says 10 holes. This is a kind of dummy account. So People are showing the different holds that can go on the accounts, but for you, you will often have a hold on a, your account as a Running Start student. We put a hold on your account at the beginning of every quarter. That prevents students from making changes to their schedule without talking to their high school counselor. And it's really important for you to be talking to your counselor if you're changing classes because they're tracking your requirements to make sure you're completing high school. Um, the main goal when you're in Running Start is to complete high school and also complete any college credits and possibly a degree. So you will often have a hold on your account, but those are ones that we can help with. Um, after you do your Running Start advising, we will take a hold off so you can enroll. And then a hold will go back on once the quarter starts. Academic progress is where you can uh, review any advising notes that we post in there. After every advising appointment, we will post notes on what we talked about. We will also, if you're doing the Associate of Arts, we will um, have a, an AA planning worksheet in there for you to review. Manage classes is gonna be where you are doing your enrollment. So we will be looking at that. Um, financial aid does not apply to Running Start students, so there won't be anything in there. Financial account is going to be where you pay for your classes. Um, remember, there are tuition charges that will accrue every quarter, and you need to pay those by the first day of the quarter. Academic records is a very important one. This is where you are going to view your grades at the end of the quarter. Even though there will be a grade in Canvas when you're working through the class, the final grade is not always the same as what's posted in Canvas. So it's 
it's really important for you to check that. Um, profile, if, um, this is a place you can go in and change your name. Let me click on that. <coughs> I will encourage you, because this is Mickey Mouse's account, um, I encourage you to look at things like um, your address, make sure that's correct. I would encourage you to look at the different um, email addresses that are in here. All students at Olympic College will have a student email account that you're expected to check. It's your first name and last name at student.olympic.edu. Many times um, your parents fill out the application for you and it might be their email address that's in here. It's really important for you to update that so it reflects your email. There are times we need to contact you to let you know um, about a class or uh, something else that's going on with the program. So we want to make sure we're getting that message to you. 